Hey guys, um, just coming to you. I've got some stuff that I wanted to show with regard to switching um, to get a CNC uh, plasma torch to fire using a step back board that I bought, the old Chinese one that I had. Um, <clears throat> but I've been quite busy, so I haven't been able to do it in that much time. As you can see, uh, this aluminium in front of us here is the new CNC machine that I've actually just completed building. Um, and it's a rack and pinion system. And in the front here, you'll notice obviously got a spindle and then I'm going to have uh, my torch for my Hypertherm 65 running off that so it'll be dual purpose when I'm finished I'll need to move this up um, and then I'll be able to use the plasma I'm still got to just finish off the bed um, to get that done but in terms of the running gantry and the rails and all the rest of it it's all working I'll just get you and excuse the mess in the garage but that's what happens when you work you make a mess so what I'm going to do is just go to the table very quickly and show you what I've got and how this all works. So you would know this being the uh, Chinese board, I'm not sure, the DB25105. Um, and obviously you've got on the left hand side is where all the power comes in and then you've got your ports and pins that run over here, your inputs and outputs. <coughs> and this is what I used um, for triggering the plasma torch. So what we've got here is we've actually got a relay circuit that runs off 5 volts. It's powered by a 5 volt power supply and it's not powered by the board. This board just doesn't generate enough power to actually run the relay for the relay to trigger. Now what you notice is there's a positive over there and then obviously uh, the black wire is the negative and I've got it hooked up here. It's a little 5 volt, one of those cheap nasty little uh, plug voltage things that you get over there which has uh, down the bottom there there is there which is a little five volt power supply this is my controller for the new machine that i've just finished building and some of the components that i've got running in there and i'm running a speed stepper and gecko drivers and all those other good things we can talk about that if you guys are interested at a later stage so what we've got here is we've actually got this is a dual relay board so it's got two relays in there and if we look at the bottom here the relay boards you always have a normally open and normally closed so the relay will either be always on or always off and depending on how you want to wire it up i wired mine up are normally open so when mac came on it was actually closed and when you sent the signal it opened up so here is the blue wire that is connected for this relay on that side and obviously the white wire then is for the relay on that side so if i take this and I touch this against the 5 volt input, which is over here, and I give it a, a and we can call this a signal because it's not drawing current per se, it's just literally saying that I've got 5 volts, and as soon as it's got 5 volts, it makes this uh, activate or come on. So, what I'll do now is I'll just take this very quickly, and you hear it ticking. If I can, there you go. So, that is causing it to tick. So, on a relay board like this, what you do is you would do exactly the same as what we've got it set up here, except this would actually run to a pin over here, which is a pin that you would set to either state high or low, I can't remember which one it is, but to give it that it says that there's a 5 volt signal. So this would go into there, that would run off the same power supply, so these won't be isolated per se. This would have 5 volts positive, 5 volts negative, and the same power that you use to run and give this power, you would give the... Um, relay board power and then all you'll do is you'll just use this little 5 volt trigger to trigger it through your pin it's as simple as that it's not really very difficult to do um, the downside to doing it like this that i found if you turn your machine off what ends up happening is because i had it on normally open it will actually send the open signal and your plasma torch will come on so you think you're powering everything off and you haven't switched your plasma machine off and the thing starts hissing and spitting and burning and firing so it's probably not the safest way to do it. Um, I will, I've changed the way I've done it. I'm using a board that actually has a relay in it. And that relay looks to see that Mach is actually talking um, to the PC. And if it's not, it actually cuts off everything that doesn't allow for the signal to go through for it to fire up. But that I still have to do in the next couple of days, um, call it a week. Um, and then that will be up and running. And if you guys are interested, I can show you how to do that. What I wanted to show you quickly is that the same little board here is running that mill of mine that I that I converted to, obviously, a little CNC mill. I'll take you 
inside the case. Um, it's a little bit of a haphazard story there, but nevertheless. So what we've got here is we have that little board. It's exactly the same board that was on the table there. It's all the little ins and outs, the voltage and that. But this I'm not using with any relays. But what I am using is a smooth stepper. I just find the smooth stepper, especially with these uh, cheapy, nasty Chinese boards, works uh, very well. Um, I've got both. I've got the USB one version here. And I have the ESS one, which I'm going to be using on the plasma machine there. And this works relatively well. It gives me very little problems. And I just converted a PC power supply in case to actually give me the, the power that I needed to run this uh, the machine. And that's about it, guys. If there's anything else you'd like to see, just very quick pan around my, my garage, my laser uh, CNC that I've got there. And hopefully soon to be adding a Tormach um, mill and replacing this with a Tormach. Um, as much as it was fun, it's just not really purpose built for liquids and stuff like that. And I just don't have the energy to, to try and retrofit that. Cool. Now have a great one. Chat to you guys soon. Ciao.